back again with another Pixelmator tutorial. This time I'm going to show you something that's um, been introduced new to the new Pixelmator Blueberry 2.2, whatever number edition it is. And it's the pen selection tool. There's a few tools that have been added and I'm going to slowly go through them and show you. But today I'm going to show you the pen selection tool and a few cool things that you can do with the pen selection tool. Right, so I've got this, um, this space image here, right? And what I'm going to want to do, I'm going to... Going to um, change the colour of, of both the background and the moon, right? But I'm going to do it separately and show you exactly what the paint selection tool does. So I'm going to go up to my paint selection tool on my tools and select it. And then I look, I'm going to show you again some different ways on how to use the tool as well. So if I click here, it will just select a selection of the, um, of the image or the area that I've selected, right? Now what I want to do is I want to add this bottom bit to my selection as well. So I'm going to press shift and you see I'll get this little plus on my... Um, on my cursor pop up and I'm gonna just select the parts and I can just drag drag and drop it this way if I want and just make sure that you select keeping shift held all the time when I go to my edges I'm not gonna go over here look because it'll do or here because it'll add all this together so I'm just gonna press command Z on my keyboard to undo that selection I'm just gonna hover my edge over let me zoom in to show you command plus on my keyboard so I'm just gonna press keep shift pressed and I'm gonna hover sort of here so that will then select, and, uh, and again, I'm just doing it rough um, for ease of tutorial for you. Right, now what people would normally do, or what, what, what I think people would do, is add the effect that they want to add direct to their background layer, this layer here. Don't do that, what I want you to do is press Command C on the keyboard, which copies the selection, and press Command V, so it will paste that selection, look, so it'll paste just this selection as a new layer. I'm going to press Command D to deselect. So now I've got this as a new layer separate to that. So, but if I turn this top layer off, this moon layer, I've still got my original background. So let me um, let me just double click and rename this just for ease for you. Image original. Let's call it original. Yeah. So that's the original. Right now, what we're going to do? Um, I can add a effect. Go to my effects tab. I'm gonna to go to the um, yeah to the to the to the vintage. And I can add a, an effect to that layer alone on its own, right? So I can add any effect to that layer, and it will just change that layer, right? So this I think the carnation looks quite cool. Gives it a 3D type look, right? But I'm gonna do it the opposite way around, okay? So let me cancel that. So I've just got this layer. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything but this layer, okay? The way I do this is go to my paint selection tool again, make sure I've got it selected. Select my moon again. Again, if I don't get it all, press shift. Then this time what I'm gonna do, I'm go back to my um, move tool. I could look, I could move this if I wanted to, see? So I could make a new, a new moon like this. So I could make two moons, so that's another quick tip. Just press command Z. Right, now what I'm gonna wanna do, I'm gonna go to image up, sorry, edit up here, and I'm gonna go invert select. When I've gone invert select, it'll select everything but this. Command C, press Command V. So C to copy, V to paste as a new layer. Now if I turn this off and this off, it's pasted a new layer with everything less the moon. Okay? I know it can get confusion. Confusing, sorry. And I'm gonna press Command D to deselect. So in my outer layer, let's say, and let's call this the moon layer. So my outer, now I'm gonna add an effect to my outer, and what's the difference? Quite cool quite a cool effect to add the wormwood effect to it and if you um, if you turn up the vintage sort of give you this out of dark sorry the vignette it gives you this out of dark um, sort of um, sort of view and you can you can expand that if you really really want to go over the top or turn it down if you but this is this is quite a cool um, quite a cool view I'm sure you'll agree so anyway yeah that's the um, that's the paintbrush tool I hope you win. I hope you if, you. if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll be back with some more tutorials later. See you all later. Bye.